Hey you, welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about what to do before your NCLEX. So this is going to be about what to do at least a week before your NCLEX, all right? Not in general, we already know you have to study and we covered that last video. Um, if you're interested in watching that, if you haven't, I'm going to post it here so you can watch it, okay? But today we are going to talk about what to do at least a week before your NCLEX, okay? Let's get started. The first thing I want you to do is review. All right, like I said, we already studied. I know you've been studying for months now, right? So I want you for this week before taking your NCLEX, I want you to review. What are you going to be reviewing? You're going to review the things that you are not completely confident about. So try to go over those again. After you have studied everything, I want you to review. So go over these things, kind of like, you know, go over the things that you are not completely sure about. For example, in my case, um, I am not the greatest with acid-base balance. So that was one thing that I was like focusing on, but last week, I was trying to like review that. So try to kind of like review, review everything. Not just focus on that, but you know, you're still studying, but kind of like focus a little bit more on those things just in case, all right guys? The second thing I want you to do is stay focused. All right, stay focused. I want you to understand what are you going to do. You are going to take the test of your life. You are going to take the test that, that is going to give you your RN license. So I need you to stay focused. I need you to understand that you just need to like, okay, I'm going to take this test. There's no partying. There's no um, doing all these other things that you usually do. It's study time and it's like me, the books, whatever I'm using to um, study and that's it. Focus, you know, stay focused. Another thing I want you to do that week before taking your NCLEX is to stay positive. This is an important test and you know it. You know that this is an important test that you need to take and you might feel like you're not going to pass it. I think we, we've all been there. Like we always feel like we are going to fail this test. We're not going to pass this test. This test is difficult. I'm not going to be able to pass this and you are going to feel negative and negative and negative emotions. Everything is going to be negative things. Um, yeah, you will feel like that, but I want you to kind of stay positive. Whenever those thoughts come to your head, forget about that. Don't listen to that and stay positive. All right. That week before taking your NCLEX, everything is positive thinking. All right. Everything from start of the day, from the morning till you go to sleep, you're going to be positive, all right? Try to like have that vibe, you know, that positive vibe in you and try to just like stay positive. You need, you need it. Trust me, you, you're going to need that. You really are gonna need that. Um, one more thing I have for you. I have two other things for you. Um, I want you that week before taking your NCLEX, at least, and if you could do it weeks before that, that's even better, but at least that week before going to take your NCLEX, I want you to get rid of all distractions. All distractions need to be gone. Try to get rid of everything that you can live without for those, you know, for that week at least, get rid of that. Me, um, I used to make YouTube videos, right? Um, and I'm back to YouTube. But I needed to kind of like completely cut it off. I was not making no YouTube videos. I was just focusing in um, in studying. I'm um, even in like different groups, you know, support groups for YouTubers. And um, I had to like kind of like stop, you know, like going into um, groups. I was also not as much on, on Facebook, Instagram, and all my social media. I was, you know, not posting as I usually do. So I was trying to get away from all these things that would distract me. 
um and um yeah and that worked you know try to stay away whatever is your distractor whatever it is that is going to take the time away from you from studying take that study time away from you um get rid of that all right if you can get rid of that um i have kids and i can't get rid of my kids <laughs> i cannot get rid of them but my husband was kind enough to help me with them um when i needed the time to study so if you do have someone that will be if you have kids like me and if you do have someone that will be able to take care of your kids while you are studying do that please it's it's very important and it's really really good it did help me so much it helped me lots like being able to just get home and um, my husband would like he would just take the kids with him he'll go to the park or he'll go anywhere and um i'll have the the house for myself and i was able to just study and focus and, and doing my work and it was perfect so if you do have kids like myself Tell your husband to take them to the park or anywhere and um, take, take, take that time to study and focus and just studying. All right? So get rid of all distractions that you can, any, anything. If social media, media is your distractor, is your biggest distractor, don't use Facebook or whatever you use for that week or just cut down on being on the, on the social media, all right? The last thing I have for you today is before going to take your NCLEX, right? Before, um, I would say at maybe the night before if you can. If not, at least, you know, in between that week before going to take your NCLEX, take a day to relax. You need it. You earned it. Like, you, you really need it. <laughs> All right, guys? Take that day. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty if you do take a day to relax because you've been studying for what feels like ever. You've been studying, you've been doing so good. Um, and you need that day, that just a men mental day and let your body relax and just take that mental day, okay? I'll, I'll give you that one, all right? Take a day to relax. Um, with me, um, that night before going to take my NCLEX, my husband gave me a nice back rub and it was so great and it, I felt just so relaxed and so soothing and, um, and it was really good because I was so stressed for maybe a month basically because stu I was studying for over a month and I was so stressed that that just made me feel so relaxed and it was amazing. So. Take a day to relax before taking your NCLEX. If it is the night before, it's even better. If it's a couple of days before anything, whenever you're able to take that day to just relax and not study and just kind of like focusing yourself, your soul, your, your inner you, and your mental status, <laughs> do it, all right? Because you are going to need it. And um, if you are about to take your NCLEX soon, I wish you the best of luck, okay? I know you got this, so you know what you know. Don't doubt yourself, because you got this. So next video, I'll be telling you my the resources that I use to pass this NCLEX, all right? So stay tuned. I hope you liked this video. If you did, thumbs up, please. And um, good luck in your NCLEX, and you are going to nail that NCLEX, all right, guys? See you next time. Bye.